I'm working on this angle drive. It's part of a rear mounted tiller on a 1961 Bolens Ridematic Garden Tractor. I just got the pulley off. Now I need to get that Woodruff key out of there. That's pretty dry and rusty. Usually you can hit these Woodruff keys on the end with a punch and they'll come out. This one's in there pretty good. And I just busted a chunk off the end of that one, so that's not going to work. I have to get the key out to get the washer off, so I can remove this arm. I have this piece of junk here. It looks like I welded it to this bolt to use as a wrench sometime. Now I'll use the other end. I'm going to grind a slot in it so it fits around the woodruff key. Now I'm going to grind an angle on the top edge of the slot and I want the bottom of that angle to be at the top of the woodruff key. You ready to go for a walk, dog boy? Alright. I'm back from walking the dog. This slot's about the right width, but I want to make it longer. I want to cover the whole length of the woodruff key. I'm going to clamp this input shaft in the vise so I have a good hold on it. I need the key at the top and the shaft level with the top of the vise. Now I want to stack some stuff under this end to hold my handle in the right place. I want my handle to be resting flat on top of the shaft. Now I want to hold it down with this bar but I can't have the bar too close to the slot. It has to be back on this angled part. I'm going to put a blob of weld on this angled part so my clamp don't slide down when I put some pressure on it.
Now I'm going to use this chunk of steel to hold everything in position. And I'll use this piece of copper plate to keep the weld spatter off of the gearbox and shaft. This is cooled off now. I can't move it by hand. That one was really in there. I don't see anything wrong. Just a really tight fit. Don't see any damage. All that burnt oil should clean off. That looks good. Ready to go again. Alright, that's it.